Good morning, everyone. I trust that all of you had a great, great weekend, and I appreciate you joining in here with us for our Monday morning devotional. Today's Renew is entitled, The Big Three of Forgiveness. Our scripture is found in Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 12 and 13. Colossians 3 is a great, great chapter talking about many different principles for Christian living. These scriptures say here, Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Let me ask you this question today. Is there someone that you need to forgive today? Has anybody ever hurt you deeply before? You know, when someone hurts us deeply, forgiveness probably isn't our natural response. Instead, we may want to hold on to the hurt and to the bitterness toward that person who has caused us that pain. But you know what? God calls us to do something. He calls us to forgive and to let go of the past and release any bitterness toward the people who've hurt you. In fact, the Bible gives us some reasons. Today, I want to give you three reasons why we should forgive. And those reasons have nothing to do whether those people deserve our forgiveness or not. Number one is this. We should forgive because those who've hurt you, we should forgive those who have hurt us because God has forgiven us. Colossians 3.13, as we just read in that scripture, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Here, basically, it's saying this. Remember, the Lord forgave us, so we must forgive others. If we want to be a forgiving person, we first need to accept the forgiveness of God through Jesus Christ. How many of you are thankful for that forgiveness, that forgiveness of God that we get? through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God came to earth in human form, in Jesus, to forgive everything that's ever been done wrong. Jesus paid for sin so that we don't have to. And that is some incredible and good news each and every day that we get to hold on to. Number two, uh, we, we should forgive those who've hurt us because otherwise resentment will control us. You know, the scripture in Ecclesiastes 7 and verse number 9, I want to read it to you. It says this, great scripture. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Resentment makes us miserable. It keeps us stuck in the past. And when we're stuck in the past, we're controlled by the past. Every time we resent something, it controls you. Are you allowing someone who hurt you maybe a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, continue to continue hurting you today? Make the choice right now not to continue to be hurt by what happened years ago. Our past is our past. We've got to let it go. Number three of the big three of forgiveness we have to forgive those who've hurt us because we're going to need more forgiveness in the future. I love this scripture found in Matthew, and I want to read it to you here this morning. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15, it says this, Forgive if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not in their trespasses, neither Will your father forgive your trespasses? Forgiveness is a two-way street. We cannot receive what we are unwilling to give. I've heard someone uh, say that John Wesley said, I could never forgive that person. John Wesley had mentioned, somebody mentioned that to John Wesley, and his response was that I hope you've never sinned. When hurt runs deep, forgiveness is hard. But remember that you have to give you have these three big reasons to forgive god has already forgiven you you don't want to let resentment control you and you will continue to need forgiveness 
in the future. Here's the choice today. Choose to live in the freedom of forgiveness today. Heavenly Father, thank you for these big three reasons of forgiveness, why we should forgive. I pray if we're holding on to uh, something maybe uh, over the last few years or many, many years, Lord, I pray that you would help us to forgive. We know we can't do it. It's not natural. It's not something we do in our own flesh. We need your help. Thank you for these great reasons, Lord. Release, help us to release them today in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to leave you with a couple questions here today uh, to think on. Where do you need to offer forgiveness to someone so that you can move on from your past? Also, how has God's forgiveness influenced your desire to forgive? Pray that all of you have a great Monday and you remember and hold on to not only today, but here in the future, uh, the big three of forgiveness. Have a wonderful Monday.